Hey everyone, I'm Andrea, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how Francisco Mejia and Mike Zanino are doing so far in terms of pitch framing. Since this is Mejia's first season with the Rays, I'm expecting that his framing is going to take some time before it really starts reflecting what he can do, so we could take another look at this towards the end of the season. But for now, looking at baseball savant's strike rates, the red is above average and the blue is below average. And strike rates are the percentage of balls that are called strikes in each of the zones. So if you look at the east-west edges of the zones, 14 and 16, those are Mejia's strengths so far. But based on his strike rates from his career before the Rays, we can expect improvement in the north-south edges of the zones, 12 and 18, as the season progresses. Mike Zanino has been in the Rays for three years now, and his framing looks better so far. He has an above-average strike rate in the east-west edges of the zone, 14 and 16, as well as the north-south edges, 12 and 18. On top of that, He's shown improvement in the north-south edges of the zone throughout his career. The north edge has improved significantly, and the south edge has returned to the strike rate it was when Zanino was on the Mariners. So how do their strengths play into the Rays' rotation? We just learned that both Mejia and Zanino do well framing pitches in the east-west edges of the zone, and looking at the rotation heat maps, that should help these four pitchers get some extra strike calls. That's Fleming, Hill, Waka, and Yarbrough. Now looking at the north-south edges of the zones, Zanino has an edge over Mejia at framing. Ray's starters that favor the north-south edges include Tyro Glasnow and Chris Archer. Now, looking at potential weaknesses for the two catchers. The newer members of the rotation, Patino, Brent Honeywell, Shane McClanahan, they pitch to the corners of the zone, which are weakest for Mejia and Zanino in terms of strike rate. So these corner spots are incredibly difficult to frame, but they're not impossible. For example, in the left image, we see a pitch to the southwest corner of the zone. Mejia's strike rate there is only 26%, but he still gets this call. On the right side, we see a pitch to the southeast corner, and Zanino's strike rate there is only 30%. Even though this pitch is more of a strike than the one in Mejia's example, Zanino still does a good job keeping it in the zone, because when pitches have that much movement, every inch matters, and good catchers, which both of these players are, are able to grab them before they run off the plate. As the season progresses this year, I think we will continue to see improvement from Mejia, especially as he gets to better know the Rays pitching staff. But one thing I do want to mention about him is that he has an elite arm, and it's very rare to see catchers be good at all facets of their game. So I think depending on the situation, we're going to see Mejia lean towards controlling runners on the base paths and sacrificing some of that framing. Zanino has been on the team for three seasons now, and he's already shown improvement in the north-south edges of the zone. What do you think? Let me know, and thanks so much for watching!